Today I want you to do something different. I want you to pause this video right at the start and read Ecclesiastes chapter 1. So I'll give you just a minute to do that by pausing. Now, if you did actually pause and read this chapter, thank you. It will be for your benefit. If you're here just for the commentary, that's fine. That You'll learn from this as well. But it, it's really important to be able to look at Scripture and try to understand what is happening. And when we look at Ecclesiastes 1, it's kind of overwhelming and depressing all in one. We see about the frustration of endless, what seems like endless toil, where nothing new seems to come about, where a generation comes and goes and things kind of remain the same and they're hard and they seem meaningless. We look at, at one of those those verses we've re- read time and time again about there is nothing new under the sun. And yet in this, what we see is the constancy of nature as God created it. It talks actually a little bit about nature. It talks about how um, that there's boundaries of the sea and how streams know where to go. And we see this in our own observations of nature where there are limitations. We also understand that the constancy of human nature is there. Now, human nature, the way God created it, is not there. God created it with the intention of that perfect love, that perfect creation, but he also gave us free will. And that is what introduced some very bad elements into our world. This is where we see a lot of self-gratification at the expense of others, where we've created harm for others and for this world in which we live. That, that nature, that sinful nature is constant right now. It's really not changing. It's present generation after generation. And while the author of this book did not know Jesus Christ, we do see glimpses of hope for a different future in the Old Testament, especially in Lamentations 3, 22 through 23, the steadfast love of the Lord never fails. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. So in a world where we feel a little frustrated with things that never seem to make a difference, where it might be a little drop in the bucket of water that's never going to change anything, we do see hope and purpose and meaning in God. And we know that his mercy is new. So look for the mercies of the Lord. Look for the love of the Lord and the purpose we find through that. Something to contemplate today. Blessings on you.